Once we're inside, don't let anyone else through. Sure you don't need help, love? Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Trouble. The usual trigger-happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. You know, I'll be honest, E. Green. I'm pretty much a gun-happy uh, mercenary at this point, too. I'm just raring to shoot something. And probably someone, if they're gonna continue passing through me like ghosts. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Alright, let's get a move on. Can I pull out my gun? Can I... Mm. <sighs> Galahad, take cover! Let's get to work. Oh, there we go. D-pad to equip your secondary weapon. Oh, not even my primary weapon? I've got, like, this big gun and you want me to use my pistol? Fine. Target down. Let's reload. Ha-ha! <laughs> okay! Now that we've got actual gameplay in the game, things should be getting better. Oh, yeah, look at that. It does the whole thing of actually allowing me to sprint a lot faster once combat's gone around. Am I just swapping my pistol? <sighs> Okay, the question is, do I want the auto-loading pistol or a revolver? Yeah. I'm gonna go with a revolver. Get out of here, find some weapons! You two, get your asses over here, I need help! Come on, go! Let's go, you bloody bastards! Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know what, you're right, here we go. Can I shoot through cover? I cannot shoot through cover. Got you. Now I guess the question is, do I have regenerating health or what? I don't know. Secondary function? Oh! I don't know what that did. Is it just kind of like an air blast that makes people go, ah ha ha, oh god, please don't do that to me. Oh, they're doing some serious damage. But I put the game on hard for a good reason. All right. Oh, there's a dude. I think I kind of prefer the pistols, actually. Just because I feel like it'd be a little bit, a little bit more accurate. What do we got? What was this doing? Oh. I'm grabbing ammunition! <laughs> Alright! Let's make sure everything's reloaded, reload. It's on the stairs! Hey! hey Alright! I wanted to see if, if I shot their legs, how would they react? And there you go. He's just on his knees like, ow, fuck, that hurts! You know what? Maybe a rifle would be better. <laughs> Just so that way I can actually rapid fire enemies. You know, E-Grain, for you saying that you're better than me, you haven't really shown that. I think I've killed everybody. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Pistol ammo? Revolver ammo. Okay. I just don't know where everybody else is. I think there's one guy left. Let's see what e -Grin shoots at. If she shoots ever. You having fun back here? Eh, she's kind of looking in this direction. So maybe there's a guy back here? No. No. Huh? There's someone left over. Maybe I just go through the front door. It just didn't let me shoot him. There 
Now he's probably gonna die because fucking Galahad said, I'm not going to shoot at all. They've locked the door. I can hear more commotion inside. Oh, okay. Can I blast the door open? Hurry. More Bedlamites inside. Ugh. What am I doing? Oh, am I supposed to just break the door down? Oh, alright. Press R1 to fire the secondary thing. Oh. Take the shot. I guess they just really wanted me to use that. That's a tutorial thing. So I was right, it is like an air blast that stuns enemies. Oh! Are you alright? Damn it! They're slaughtering them. Ready? Just get rid of this scum. Smoke grenades. Right. Uh, okay. I apparently have smoke grenades. What if I just... Toss it like that. Alright. Let's go. I don't know if it covers too much of the area, but let's sprint. Ow. Can I free run and shoot? I can! Good! I doubt I'll ever do it because I definitely need to be aiming. Did I kill that guy? Oh. Well, I guess the answer is yes. <laughs> I didn't know. Target down! Trying to shoot a plan. I thought the plan was a person. God damn it! Ow, ow! Oh god, I'm in a bad place. Ow. Yeah, I deserve this. Okay. Press X to repeatedly generate health and fill the black site. I have no idea what it was trying to say. I'm being shot at, you know. So that's what that thing is on the right side. It's a, it's a revive vial. Uh, Alright! There were more on the level above. We need to get up there. Got it! So I can do takedowns. Very nice. I don't know if it's really worth it. <laughs> because that one was kind of a long one, so if there's enemies around the area, I shouldn't do that. Did you see that? Oh, it's just a pistol. I see flashing things and it attracts my eyes to them. We should clear the second floor. Everything to your liking, thus far? Quite. Just another ordinary London morning. Indeed. Although I do hope that was only the beginning. Ladies first. Quiet. You think we'll get to shoot a few of them rich folk? Huh? Say no more? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. You should take this as a no! <laughs> so do that interaction, maybe Galahad likes killing a bunch of people too! Good for us, alright. Oh, more takedowns. Ooh. Ha ha! Oh! Jesus! I figured we were just gonna like choke him or something, but we just fucking break his, his leg and then kill him. Although, maybe we didn't break his leg. Still, not his ass to the ground. I'm gonna punch your face in, friend! Or choke. That's fine. I just figured that if I was running at him, my takedown would be a little bit better. I need more fucking rifle ammo. But at the same time, not really. Just make my shots count. Pew! Pew! Oh, 
shit! Press R2 to fire? And then right, uh, right trigger to switch targets. I don't, I don't know what this is. Oh, there's another guy. Okay. Black Sight. Press L1 to toggle Black Sight when the meter is available. Fill the meter by taking out enemies. Oh, okay. So Black Sight is supposed to be kind of like the Red Dead Redemption thing, where you slow down time and you shoot a whole bunch of people, except not as cool because you're not actually aiming at the enemies when you do it. You're just kind of rapidly firing and generally hoping for the best. You too. Sir. Downstairs. There are civilians who need your assistance. Yes, sir. Sir, General Raphael is in the next room. You're joking. Is there a single woman in this city you won't try to seduce? Well, is your problem now? Do try not to lag behind. No, oh, don't make me interact with this guy. I want to go back to shooting people. Lafayette. Ah, monsieur. Uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis. Your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Oh, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. <laughs> Wasn't he the guy who tried shooting a warning shot at me before? Ah. Maybe he is a likable person. Most fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. <laughs> I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur. A man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half-breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! Strange. Let's go. It's about time. Marquis, you and Lady Grain take that entrance. I'll go through this one and sweep for any remaining escapees. We miss you. Sir. Ah, the section of the game where we separate from our party members and handle everything on our own as if, well, it was the normal situation anyways. Alright. I like how I've lost my revive file and I haven't gotten it back. The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. Sentinels are continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escaped patients. Acknowledge. Alright. So we're by ourselves. We have to be really cautious. Am I cautious? I mean, we have to wait until all of a sudden we enter a cutscene and all the enemies are around. Perhaps. Although I'm trying to see if there's anything here. I wish I had a flashlight. I mean, the areas aren't like completely dark. Well, they're a little bit worrying. Go ahead. Are you making any headway? I'm in the generator room. Lafayette and I have decided to split our search. Women, oui, mademoiselle, but I have not met any resistance yet. I feel like I'm about to. I heard people talking. Although I would have loved to have heard more of their conversation. Push forward on the left analog stick and press X to climb up to the ledge above. Alright. There's some light climbing elements. I guess I'm gonna have to go along the side. This is a perfect opportunity, yep, to make enemies show up. 
Oh, it's not an enemy. <laughs> it's Egrain. I had a feeling I'd beat you here. Remember, youth always prevails. Well, you know what? You probably didn't have to do a whole bunch of climbing or anything. <laughs> okay. Does she have a lightning gun, by the way? Because that's not like electricity arcing between things, and I want that. <clears throat> Uh oh. Uh oh. Everyone, one of our escape pieces is a half breed. to do here, but I gotta try my best. All right, so as they run at me, I shoot the shit out of them, and then I have to finish them off. Aha! Take the black fire, or whatever the hell this is called. Whoa, whoa! Oh, God! I gotta finish him off! Oh! I might die here. I might die here. Oh god, I'm gonna die here. Ah! Monsieur, hold on. I'm almost there. There's fucking two lichens. Ah! I should be doing the dodging. I'm so worried about just trying to shoot the hell out of them that I don't do it. Oh, he escaped. No! Monsieur, what happened? I slew most of them. The last one got away. The grain, I need your up gun. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Well, my wishes have been heard. They just give me the lightning gun immediately. Hold R2 to fully charge the weapon. R2 to fire! Oh. Well, at least I destroyed the gate. So I hope it's not a thing where he like he can bite other people and make them lichens, because that'd definitely be awful for everybody. Well, maybe not to me. Oh boy. Slow down, boy! You wanted to attack me beforehand! We need to press forward. God, if fucking Galahad can move this fast all the time, I would be awesome. There you go! Everyone alright? Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. Maybe shoot his face, just in case? I mean, I did only hit him with like a giant bolt of lightning. Sir! What should we do with him? Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Why, Chapel? Uh, purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack, and the Ripper murders. Mm -hmm. And then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the 
epicenter of our recent conundrums. We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis, nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed Sir by Percival. your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. That's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. <laughs> I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel, but the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay! The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. Mm. You heard the Lord Chancellor. The Council will not stand for it. Our brother Knight has made a habit of contravening his orders lately. I fear many grow weary of Brother Percival's insubordination. If anyone has the liberty to challenge the Council's authority, it is he. We may have seldom few options left at this juncture. 
Do you believe the evidence enough to warrant our involvement? We have worked with less than that in the past. But we haven't always been in the right. What are we to do? Are you guys gonna come up with an answer? Are you considering things? No? No? Okay. I just want to listen in conversations. Figure out what what's going on in the world. What can I can expect from things, you know? Ooh. Who are you to question the council's wisdom? Yes. Lord Chancellor. Can I get into any of these conversations or am I just gonna slowly walk around the round table? Okay. <laughs> I see what they did there. They create a block over on one side, so I'm forced to listen to both conversations slightly before I actually have a chance to leave. I just... I think this is gonna be one of those games where it takes me like Galahad half the game to be like, what the hell is going on? I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch, Sir Lucan? Would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you'd permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair. You know, as well as I do, that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your fa brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is a Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? As they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. <laughs> 